It's been uh, sat there, hasn't it? Two pound. It's been every week, and this week fifty p. Fifty p. Bargain. Woo! <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to M's Den with Paula Marie. And this is our charity shop video. It's Saturday morning. We've just been out for our planning meeting, hun, haven't we? The planning meeting. Nudge, me nudge. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> and now we're going to be let loose in our charity shops around the Hive area. We've yep. got two empty bags, hun, and we're looking to fill them up, aren't we? Two empties, yep. Yep, we're going to fill them. Well, fingers crossed. We've only got an hour and a half before Emily needs picking up. Yep. So it's going to be a quick dash around the charity shops and let's see what we can get. Yeah, fingers crossed. We can't talk. Fingers fingers, off. Fingers, <laughs> off. fingers crossed that we get some bargains. We need another planning meeting, We hun. do need another planning meeting with lots of coffee, don't we? Yeah. yeah. So, there you go. First charity shop done. Bit of wicker, hun, bit of wicker. <laughs> <laughs> Can't she, help myself. She's excited. <laughs> and we got a, pound. a bag of bits there. Yeah. Yeah. Something. So, couldn't film in there, unfortunately. No. no. Loads of people in there, wasn't it? Busy. Yeah. Yeah, there was quite a few people in there. And just watching my steps so don't fall over, hun, on camera. Can you imagine? That would be funny. <laughs> But uh, but anyway, yeah, we're just going to head to the next one now. Yeah. Look at that, look. She's excited to get to the charity shop. <laughs> oh, God, we're missing the bargains, we're missing the bargains. <laughs> Second one down. Ooh. Back to the car again. We bought more stuff. More stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of footage, unfortunately. It's uh, there was a lot of music playing in that one, wasn't there? Yes, but I did get that mushroom I've been after for the past month. Run that. Yes. Gang mushroom. Yep, yeah, it's been uh, sat there, hasn't it? Two pound. It's been every week, and this week fifty p. Fifty p. Bargain. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to that car. Well, I think we're done for today, charity shopping. Yep, four shops done, aren't we, hun? Four shops done, and quite quickly. Quite, yeah, we've got a few more than we thought, didn't we? We did, yeah, we didn't do too bad at all. No? 
and Emily sent a message, isn't she? She's after a, after a Costa, so woo! Wee, she wants a Costa. <laughs> oh, it's a bit of a bind, hum, but if yeah. she wants a Costa... If, if, if our daughter wants a Costa, <laughs> she can have a Costa. Can I have a Costa? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure we can have a Costa. Ooh, what a good day! We've got a few bags, yep. bits there. Yeah, um, random assortment of tats. Random assortment, that's it, yeah. So, um, I'm going to say something I've always wanted to say. Oh, Go on then, my love. Back to the studio. <laughs> the kitchen. <laughs> Just don't spoil the, <laughs> the allure, hun. The allure. <laughs> We're back. Woo! Back with a tat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, we've got quite a few things to show you this week, but don't go thinking we're genius um, resellers because this is a combination of two weeks' worth yeah. of um, charity shopping. Yeah. Because we don't find a lot in the charity shops and love, do we? We don't. Um, so we do, on a Saturday morning, our daughter's dancing. Um, we drop her off. We go and have a uh, planning meeting, don't we, hun? Uh, uh, planning, planning meeting. meeting. And then after, after we're nice and full, we, we, <laughs> we then go to four charity shops. And then we do the same thing again the, each week, don't we? We do, yes. So this is it. two weeks' worth because there's never enough in um, one week to show you. Mm. Um, we can't do a video with just four things, so we've gathered. Yeah, yeah. Gen and... Generally, you need more than sort of. Well, we found we need more than four trips. Yeah. Um, you know, I means charity shops really to, yeah, to so gather is, enough. Stuff, this is so. eight shops, isn't it? Eight, eight charity eight shops, shops really. <laughs> so, should we see what we've got then, Hans? We show them. Yes. I bet they can't yeah. wait, Hans. I, I bet they can't they wait can't to see wait. what yeah. tat we've picked up. See in what last bargains weeks. we've got. I'm hoping. I don't know any of the prices. No, either, I know. I? Yes. I've been busy looking, hun. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm going to amaze you. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I might have built it up a little bit too much, hun. Yeah. I'm sort of regretting saying that. You know, it's all right. <laughs> Let's try <laughs> and rein it in a bit now. Yeah. Go on, then you start. I'll go over here then. Do you remember these? I do vaguely. Where do we? Where bit do of we brass. Can't remember where we got these ones. Is that second one that we go to? Oh yes, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah. We've got some um, like. Coat hooks. Mm. Um, they're nice. There you go. <laughs> these are sort it. of um, nice. <laughs> these are vintage brass Art Nouveau style two hook wall mounted hat slash coat Oops. hangers. These no are good now. These are that honey because someone had one um, that sold, which was really handy because that made it really easy for me to price. Yeah. So I've put the two together though, hun, because I think it's. Um, yeah, you know, I think save so. a bit of postage then. Yeah, that's it. And uh, we paid a fiver. Mm. And um, yeah, we're going to aim for twenty four ninety nine. Should get that or roughly near that, mm. huh, based on what was sold. They are lovely, actually. So aren't um, they? yeah, yeah, nice weight to them. Now I'm going to start off with items that we won't be selling. So we oh. are gathering things, huh, aren't we, for bundles? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah. I get very excited. Um, you've probably seen it in the footage, but this. This little fella here, <laughs> this um, mushroom, um, we've seen for about a month now, and it was in the two pound bin. Thought we're mm. paying two pound for this. This is a goodness gang mushroom, and then this week it's fifty p. Oh, I made my whole day, hun. <laughs> so excited! It was always in the fifty p bin. So he's come home with us, and yeah. also um, we have the cauliflower here that was fifty p in a different shop. So <laughs> they are going towards Mark. I'm getting a little bit obsessed with my goodness new, gang, new gang bundle. bundle. Yeah, that's we've got it, a strawberry from Miss A. That Miss A sent yes, us. Yeah. We've got a banana, haven't we? And we've got another. We've got two cauliflowers now. We're double cauliflowered. Oh, really? oh, so right. two bundles now. We're getting two bundles. Oh. So also we've bought some books. Um, one of the shops does um, ten p for children's books. Ten, well, so uh, we yeah, chose. Right, yeah. We chose a stack of ten. Um, but this five won't be going out just yet because I'm going to make them more. You make I think I might have a couple of dog bundles. diaries um, that I might be able to put with these actually and make up a five, set of five. Anyway, these aren't going out just yet. They are being bun kept for a bundle. Uh, right. But did you want to do one that... Should we, we actually... Well, should we do those books then? Because that's sort do of part books. of okay. what, what that is that I'm talking about. Right. That's not good English, but they know <laughs> they know me enough now. So these were the other five books that we picked up with, um, you know, for a pound for ten. Um, these are David Williams, and I thought we'd be quite safe at 10p each. Huh? Quite weighty. I'm starting to shake now. <laughs> <laughs> so um, 50p, and we're going to put them up for... Should it be you? I didn't know if it was me doing it. No, no, you, doing you could it. do it now. Well, I've done half of it. It's your half 14 .99. now. 14 99 That's fair. We're going to put them up for... 
So yes, that's that's so not bad. Right. Yeah. So easy to pack, easy to check and list. Yeah, that's it. Right, so over to you then. You. Does it mean it? Go on. No, you, no you. go on. You no, are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> no, go on. on. No, go on. No, you do one. You okay, do I'm going to go for something a little bit unusual that everyone's going to go, oh, that's horrible. Um, but I think it's gorgeous. It's a bit unique, a bit kitsch. It's this sort of um, rattan sort of wicker cat. Its head comes off. Um, vintage. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, my goodness me, that's ugly. But these sort of things do go for quite good money. We've, we've had them before. Go a bit closer so you can have a look see how Don't ugly scare it them is. All. <laughs> <laughs> but this was a pound in a charity shop. Now, the reason I picked it up is because they do go for, for quite good money, hun, when you look at sold. So we were putting this up for £22.99. Oh, OK. People have fallen off their chairs now. No, they are, yeah. for that <laughs> but yes, they're a bit unusual and they do hold their value. Yeah. So yeah, yeah okay. that's um, All right. surprised you, isn't it? It has surprised me, yes. That's perked you up. <laughs> it has, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Easy to, I can't get the lid back. I know, it's oh, a, go, a certain yeah. way, my love. Yeah. Right, it's your your turn now, my then. My turn. I'm going to go You have for, a go. Which one was this? This was in the second one. Again, the same place we got those hooks for the week before. From no, the week before. What was his name? Oh, Stan, I think. Stan, right. So I was going with it. I was going to say which one. Which was, one of the boys? I was going through all the details of the charity shop. From South Park. Yes, I believe it's Stan. Um, yeah, we paid three pounds <coughs> for me, him. Um, many years ago, we actually had a... Was it a Kenny? Mm, we did have and, a Kenny. Um, Cartman as well. Cartman, wasn't it? yeah, we love yeah, South Park, didn't we? When it first oh, yeah, came out. when it first came out, Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we clocked this just as we were going in, and they only just put it out. They didn't just they? literally put it out for, yeah, we we're saw having it, that. We're having that under the arm. <laughs> we had it in a headlock, didn't we? We did. <laughs> 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 yep, he's going up for twenty eight ninety nine. Have you said what he was? Yeah, I said three pounds. Did you? I don't I'm know. Sure I said three I'm not as owned out. It's three pounds. Ooh. But twenty eight ninety nine is what it's going up for. Yeah, we so. sort of knew it'd be worth a fair bit, didn't we? Because we'd yes. seen. I think we. I think car boot Chris may have had one fairly recently. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was in my mind as we saw it. I sort of knew it'd be worth mm. over twenty. So yeah, they we went well made. for it. Yeah, mm. and it's not too bad. He's a little bit of a clean. Yeah. They always do there, don't they? Some of these older plush. Yeah, that's Right, it. so I'm going to go for something a bit unusual as well, hun. And that is these, I knew they were old when I saw them, egg cups. Set of four. They were only a pound. Yeah, I was just going to say. They, you can tell by the look of the plastic. They're right? old, but they're, they're, very, they're quite thin. Yeah. Is what I, what I thought. But, um, but yeah. They're sort of Humpty Dumpty egg cups. Yeah. Not worth a massive amount, but I couldn't leave them for a pound, hun. You sometimes you just got to go with it. And, you know. Yeah, that's it. So they cost a pound. We're going to put them up for eleven ninety nine, and we'll probably get around about ten pounds. They are they are a good nick, yeah. clean as well. So fingers crossed, but I couldn't leave them there for Sorry, that. What are you putting up for? Eleven ninety nine. Oh, right, okay. Not bad for a bit of old plastic. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Not bad. I'll oh, just work along, shall yeah, I? Yeah, I think you should, my love. More brass. Mm. Pair of jugs. Yeah, these are going to be classed as they... pitcher, pitcher jugs. Pitcher jugs. And they're by a company called Peerage. Look at me yeah. with my knowledge. I oh, know, yeah, they're lovely. It's on the bottom. They're not. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> they're not. I, I thought they'd be a bit I heavier. I would have said then, yeah, they're not the greatest of quality. No. That's sort of how I would put it. Yeah. But they're, 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 you know, the they're the ornaments, prints, aren't the they? They're made to be ornaments. Impressions, really, you know, it's, it's really nice. Yeah. But, um, yeah. A little bit tarnished in places, but they're going to go up, you know, we bought them as a pair and we'll sell them as a pair, won't we? Yeah, so, um, paid £2 and we're putting them up for 16 99 You can't go wrong for a pound each, can you? No, that's It's quite it. reasonably priced in that charity shop. Their yeah. prices are starting to come down a bit. Yeah, that's the, the second one. second one again, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. that's right. The prices used to be quite high. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go for it. the item that um, stumped us. We didn't know. It was 50p. We thought, well, you know I wasn't going to leave it. But we don't know what it is. We've Googled it. We still don't know what it is. So we're going to yeah. ask you because yeah. you lovely people have got a lot of knowledge. Um, and you may know you're going to go, oh, it's this. Oh, it's this. Yeah, it's that. So yeah. this is what we saw. You in should the, know that. <laughs> in the charity shop. It's um, like rattan. This is how it was on the shelf. Sorry about my sausage fingers getting in shot. So I picked it up because it had 50p on it and it's rattan. Why wouldn't I want to get this? But when we looked at it, it it's comes out. Oh, she says. So it's two 
But what the hell are they? <laughs> now I said to Paul, they could be side by side, like um, a letter rack. They're too large. I for did that. sort of say they could be some sort of clutch bag, but then you pointed out if I was to lift it, all the stuff might fall out. So we don't really know what they are. Hmm. They're obviously yeah, just, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah they fit. And they, they do. Fit lovely they do. Um, you can't see that there, but no, you can't see. I've just put them on the. They do mm, sit so perfectly. Oh yeah, look at you, my love. They do sit perfectly on a desk, so oh, they might just be a letter rack or something, or pencils, yeah, but if you or put a letter in that. It's just yeah, gonna, it is very. So um, light, I don't it's very think... rigid, but it is quite yeah, flimsy. Yeah, I mean they're sturdy, but but very light. Yeah, I don't, yeah. That, when I was holding up to the camera, I didn't know if that was what? a different design there. It is a different design. Yeah, there. It? Yeah, I noticed that the other day. Yeah, I don't know then. I didn't know if it was words, or letters, but I don't think it is. Yeah. No. But so anyway, that stumped us, but it was only did. 50p. Um, answers on a postcard. Let us know <laughs> in the comments if you know. Got my hair, um, massive hair. Um, and we're going to put it up for twenty two ninety nine. <laughs> Even though we don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. <laughs> Someone will let us know, hopefully. And if not... Um, I don't know. I think because of the age of it, mm. the, the workmanship that's gone into it, I, I can't price it below £20. So I'm yeah. putting it out for twenty two ninety nine, um, in the hope that some some genius out there will know what it is. Because how am I going to write a description for that? I don't know what it is. I know. That's it. So there we go. That's mm. the conundrum of the day. Let us know. Please do leave a comment <laughs> if you know. <laughs> it's going to be something really obvious. It <laughs> is. It is. And we're going to look silly, aren't we? So over to you then, my love. Over to me. Oh, oh, not another bit of wicker. My favourite thing. Wicker. Another serving Just a little, basket. Little, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't mind these. They're, they're easy to pack. They're small, hunt. That's they the good thing small. about it. It's that's, small. that's the main thing. You can store them really easy. Um, yeah, we paid a pound for this. Um, pretty good condition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice little basket. Sixteen ninety nine. that it's going to go up for. Probably get around about 14 huh? Lucky yeah. to get about 14 Yeah. Trying it, how am I trying it? <laughs> now I'm going to try something here that I thought was gorgeous and really underpriced in the charity shop we go to. Um, it was one pound fifty. Mm. Now it's a wooden, um, like hand carved um, sort of bowl, like a snack bowl. I'd sort of describe yeah, that. So you, I don't know if you can see there. You've got an elephant on one side. You've got a giraffe on the other side. The the these two have been stuck on, so they're not. It's not all right, been carved okay, out of one up. thing. No, okay. And just want to point out that the tusks are a cheap plastic, they're not ivory. <laughs> so, yeah. um, but it's very pretty on the bottom as well. So I think some sort of souvenir -y style thing, but £1.50, hun, for all that workmanship. I mean, these elef this elephant's been carved, so is this giraffe. It's got a very long nose for giraffe, looks like an anteater. But anyway, we'll gloss over that. Yeah. Um, it was £1.50, hun. We're going to put it up for £26.99 because... Um, there's quite a few similar style, and they're going for sort of between 20 and 25, so I've got yeah. 26 99 so hopefully get around the 24 or anywhere over the £20 will be made up, won't we? We would, that's it. It's lovely, that. I'd just like to point out, if you can hear um, a noise, it is Marie's chair. Oh, for sorry, some am reason, I wiggling? Is, is going... <laughs> it's very comfortable, though. <laughs> so I'm not though, sure Marcus whether he's picking it up or not. Yeah, it's a lovely, comfortable chair, but Everyone's you don't have to make ears. a noise sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, hon, I'll try but, not to jiggle about No, 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 you can jiggle about. It's just um, I don't want people thinking you're, you're breaking wind a lot. <laughs> I'm saving it up, hon, for later. So, oh, well, yeah, thanks. <laughs> what have you got? Oh, I... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, what is it? It's a it's clock a and a barometer sort of thing. Yeah, um, yeah. Quite nice. nice, isn't it, with the, the wood and the brass? Yeah. Quite fancy looking with it, the brass on the corner. You don't normally get the brass on the corners as well. No. But yes, yeah, it's, it's not a not a bad one at all. It's got Pretty some cool. sort of quartz thing in the clock. I think it says it on the front. Um, uh, yes. Yeah. East Eastyman quartz. Oh, that popular one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we paid three pound for that. Yes. Um, which we thought was a bargain. It was on the wall as well, wasn't it? it? Was we don't normally look on the wall. No, you it? get to the till and you just you're just paying for your stuff. You, you glance don't, you up don't and glance you're like, oh. Up. Yeah. So the glass um, caught my eye. Yeah. So yeah, so that's lovely. Three pound we paid, and we're putting it off twenty eight ninety nine. Yeah, give it a go, hun. Give it a go. Mm. 
So I'm going to go for something that was from the same shop and it was also behind the till, wasn't it? It was the day we yes. bought that. It was the it was this and the um, the man. I said, "Oh, can I have a look at that, please?" He said, "Oh, what this bedpan?" <laughs> <laughs> it's um it's ever so cute, but it's not a bedpan. It's too small and also it's got holes in it. It's got holes in it, yeah. Um, but, see but to be honest, hun, when I I didn't think too much of it in the shop. But when I opened it and saw that it was black inside, I realised that it, not... it's, it goes on a fire and you're, you're yeah. cooking. It's actually like a chestnut roasting pan or pot. Yeah. Um, that's sort of what I'll be describing it as. It was £3. It's quite cute, isn't it? It and is. And it'll be going up for £28.99. Brass. Um, lovely. Very Maybe nice. A bit of vintage there. Mm. I've got dirty hands so, yeah. or something. £3 and we're putting up for £28.99. Lovely. So what have you got then, hun? Am I over here now? Yeah, I think you are. You've done all those bits and pieces. Ooh. Is that that? It is. Really? I know. And I've got this little... Uh, it wasn't my fault, hun. It fell off. <laughs> so what I tried to do, hun, is put this back on. There's a little bit of wire. And I think there's a small hole, but I spent ages. And you right, know when you're, okay. you, your eyes are a bit duff. That was with the glasses on. So I, I thought we'd use a magnifying on. glass and do it. It just needs a little bit of glue... Right. And stick it. It might just go back in, but um, it fell off during transit, I think. So it just fell off. Okay. I think it'll slot back on, but um, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. Anyway. Let's see if I can get close enough. It's some glass grapes. Hmm. I know. Yeah. They're quite I cute, aren't they? One pound twenty-five. I know. I couldn't leave them for that, huh? Where's the leaf? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the leaf come off, but we'll get that back on again. Yeah. Yeah. There's quite a few online. Yeah. All sorts of different styles. Um, I mean, it has surprised me the price. Um, 18 99 mm -hmm. they're going to put them up for. Probably for get that little the, thing. <laughs> well, we'll phrase it a little bit better than that in the listing. <laughs> <laughs> but probably hope to get around the £15, £16 pound mark, hum. Yeah, yeah. And um, I'm wondering whether to go for something that... Perhaps I shouldn't, shouldn't have got or was not the best buy. Sometimes you see something and uh, you go with your gut and sometimes your gut's wrong. So I sort of saw this puzzle in the, in the shop for £2 and thought, oh, look at that. It's a vintage one. Um, that may mean it's worth more because it might be out of circulation now, might be rarer. You get it home and you, and you look and no. No. You can get these quite cheaply and in much better condition than this. <laughs> so, so yeah, perhaps shouldn't have got it home, but it's a 1500 piece. It's a Jan van Hasteln puzzle, which I do love doing. Yeah. So, um, oh, I just heard in the distance a, 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 a ka-ching ka from my phone. Woo! Woo. <laughs> so um, it's going to be a good day, hun. <laughs> um, so we paid £2 for this. Now I've put it up, hun, for a... Because I'm going to do this, because when we have puzzles, we I, I say we, I like to do the puzzle because, I, you know, it's then yeah. technically working. Yes. <laughs> and you in front do of the love TV. a puzzle, don't you? So I will do this. Paul takes the pictures, then we put it up. So I will do this. And to be honest, I'm working on a 1,500-piece one now. So by the time I actually start this one, it will probably be Q4. So I've sort of <laughs> gone for a Q4 price, hun, of 14 99 Oh, right, okay. I don't think we'll get that, realistically. Might get around about the 12 but... Yeah. I think it's going to take me a while because I've got quite a list of them. I'm backed up with puzzles. Puzzles, yeah, yeah. You so, need to yes, get working. I'm sort of then. trying to justify <laughs> that it's worth this much because really I shouldn't have bought it. Right. So Never there mind. you go. You know, Mission over. The thing is, though, if you have a gut feeling about something, or you you, you should go. For, I mean, what price was it? Sorry, two pound. Yeah. Well, you, you've got to do it. Yeah. If you have a I gut feeling for two pounds. Oh, what I did find though, when I looked, I had a cheeky look. Yeah. There's a little letter in here. Last completed April 2015, puzzle, act, puzzle is complete, not difficult, just big. Um, caution, beware of the contents, includes um, some very small pieces, good luck. What are they oh, doing? Okay. <laughs> Someone's donated, but look, it's 2015, so they've donated this after doing it in 2015. How nice. That's lovely. What a lovely uh, um, lady or man who's um, donated that and wished me good luck with that puzzle. Yeah. So, yeah. That's it, I'm gonna finish waffling. I'm gonna put that down. I'll there. go for something else then. There we go. Spotted this. It's a little, um, what is it? Little teapot, hum. It's yeah. Tony Carter. Carter. I only got it, hum. Made in England. Yeah, that was one of the reasons. Mm. And also because it was only the price. $1.99. Yeah, I thought it was we quite cute this. and worth it. Quite dinky. 
We didn't know anything about it, never seen them before. It's very, it's quite cool. And we thought, we'll give it a go. We don't tend to buy a lot of breakable stuff at the minute, hon, especially with that candlestick on there. That's <laughs> a disaster that. all over don't it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but I didn't know if it was worth much, so we thought we'd give it a go. Yeah. Learn. We're learning, aren't we, hon? We are learning. But it's quite, it's, like I say, it's a lovely, dinky little thing. But it's, yeah. it's, 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 they do it's really cool. They do lots of little ones, lots of um, little cute Get ones back. like that. And yeah. Um, yeah. I've learned a bit about it as well, so that's good. We're gonna, worth that one ninety nine. One ninety nine. We're going to put it up for twenty two ninety nine. Yeah. Did you say that or not? No, I didn't, no. no, I didn't want to do your bit. Yeah. So twenty two ninety nine. Hopefully for that. Yeah. Now I'm going to go with um, something else that uh, is wicker. Oh, and everyone's going to go. Oh, not more wicker. But I harp on about these sorts of things. This is um, traditionally a waste paper bin. Um, and it was only a pound, picked it up straight away. Hmm. But the reason we harp on about this is because these sorts of things, you can buy them 50p or a pound at a boot sale or in a charity shop, and they do go for sort of around the £20 mark hmm. because people do like to use them as planters. Yeah. So, um, you know, it is worth picking them up. We're going to put it up for 19 99 um, I don't know, I don't think it's vintage. Obviously, a vintage one, you'd get a little bit more. But um, for a pound... It's, yeah. It's, it's solid. It's definitely worth it. It's sort of, um, this one is, um, I think that's like bamboo, like reed woven bamboo. Yeah. So that's what I'll be sort of putting it up for. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I don't mind the ones that are Are we just on the last one ship. now, hon, I think? Oh, yeah, I'd so pass you these then. These ones, did I put these ones? You did. You clocked them in the shop. Clocked them in the shop. We, what make are they? We've got some shoes. Uh, I think they are Airsoft, size 8, Wallace Derby Brogues. Okay. There you go. Yeah. They're in good nick though, aren't they? They're in, yeah, they are. They're in lovely condition. Um, we pay £2 for these. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's, that's what sort of catches your eye. You yeah, the £2? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> So yeah, because these are in such good condition and the fact that they're only two pound, I didn't really know the name. No, I've um, not heard of them before. But it's, it's worth worth a gamble. Mm. You know, for two pound, I mean, it's definitely worth a gamble. But we're going to be putting these up for 22 99 mm. You know, hopefully around the 20 pound mark. Hopefully, yeah. But um, but yeah, so, but yeah, they're in lovely condition. So yeah, so, please so with that. back over there now. So mm. that sort of concludes what we've picked up. Mm. So it's that exciting time, hun, where we go through the facts and the figures. It's what they all look forward to, to seeing. The facts and the figures, yes. So we've bought 18 types of things. It's a weird way of saying that, isn't it? Yes. Because some of them, we've got the mushroom, we've got the cauliflower, we've got the half the books that we aren't selling, they're going to go for bundles. So that leaves us with the rest of the tat, hun, 16 listings. So do you want to do the the big reveal of what we've spent? £31.24. <laughs> Sorry, I was... <laughs> I've laid it out a little bit differently just yeah, to confuse you. Yeah, it's just a bit you. different. I like adding a bit of, <laughs> a little of, a bit of drama into it, hun. Yeah. What's the... Sorry, yeah, so £31.24, yeah. What's the listing value, though, hun? Listing value is £345.84. But so before you start thinking that we're really good at what we do here, we need to... <laughs> <laughs> we need to be a bit more realistic because we, um, we've we realised recently that, that some new people are watching and um, we in Chris's Monday night show there was someone who was only 14 watching. Yes. Um, so I think a lot of people, a lot of younger people are, are getting into reselling so we want to be really realistic and show all the things like the costings because you, you have to be aware of these sorts of things, yeah, don't you? Yeah, no, that's it, you do. It is easy for us to say we've spent 31 24 and look, we're going to get £345.84p for this, but that's not what we're actually going to get. That's reality, that's not what you're actually going to get. Yeah, that's so. just what we're putting up for. We're yeah. now going to go through the fees and the postage and things like this just to give you a, a sort of a rough idea of what mm. the actual post uh, actual profit Pro the profit that's could it. be. Not the postage, I'm no. not worried about that. Right, so go on then, my love, why don't you take yeah, us so, through the best case? Okay, our best case is everything sells at full price. Oh, that'd be lovely. <laughs> but it won't. But yeah. anyway, we'll go through the best case. So, we start at £345.84. Now, we have um, eBay fees on top of that when Ooh. they sell. Boo, yes. <laughs> Which, on average, um, it's 11.9% um, plus VAT. So... 
on that the fees would equate to £49.38, so that has to come off. Then we have the order transaction fee. Every order um, on eBay has a fixed fee of 30 pence plus VAT. And it is worth pointing out that anything, any prices you see on eBay, any fees, do not show the VAT. You have to add that, that you on. You have to add the VAT so just on. Be the aware 20% of that. VAT. That's it. So the order transaction fees for that would be £5.76. Um, so the total eBay costs would be £55.14. Then we have postage, um, would be around about the £64 mark. So we add all of that onto um, the eBay fees uh, and the postage costs, yeah. So it would be £119.14 pence in the fees and um, postage. So that's almost £120 just, is, to deal, just, just, just for the privilege of selling on eBay. That's it. So um, that brings it down to um, £226.70. And then you have to take off what you um, purchase the items for. So £31.24 gives you a, a best case profit of £195.46. And as we always sort of recently been pointing out, if you wanted to promote those items on a 2% promotion with eBay, mm. it would be this amount, hun. £8.30. Just so in case you're interested. Yeah. No, that's excellent. So, yeah, £195.46p. That it's would not be good. Be that it won't because... be that because, like I say, you, you do, um, we always generally, unless we're having a, a, a big sale, we tend to have the best offer button mm -hmm. um, on and active. So, you will always um, accept, of, accept offers. Mm -hmm. um, and, got... um, you know, like I say, we have sales. So, of course, it gets items gets discounted there so mm. you know you do get some items that sell at full price there's no no doubt about yes, that yes but out of these 16 but items we would probably we, expect five ish yeah maybe to around. sell for full price yeah realistically realistically yeah um, so um so yeah so what we tend to do is we um we do a best case which we've just done and now we're going to do our worst case if it oh, could be, you. if it could be the five highest valued items that sell, yeah, yeah, that'd be perfect. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be, but wouldn't it be no. great if it was that? So we'll take you through the worst case because um, we are, you know, we do like to be realistic with um, with our pricing. Mm. Um, we do, as Paul said, have offer buttons on. We um, are quite you know, keen to sell our items as much yeah. as possible. So we um, are always trying to generate more sales, aren't we? Yeah. So we would take 30% off. That would be our worst case. Worst so case. already that takes that £345.84 listing value down to £242.08p. So that's almost shaved £100 off there, hun. Hmm. So now we're going to do the same The same fees will apply, but they're obviously a little bit smaller now because we've started off at a lower number. So the eBay fees would be £34.56, the order transaction fees would be £5.76, so the total eBay fees would be £40.32p now. The postage stays the same at £64, so now our total fees and postage would be £104.32p. So if you take that from the £242.08p, you are left with now only £137.76p. Now you take off what you paid for all of these items, £31.24, you are now left with a worst case profit of £106.52p. So as earlier, um, we've also worked out the 2% promoted. If you wanted to do that as well, that would cost another £5.81. So um, it's not too bad. It's not bad, not too actually, bad. Um, we, we... I've worked it out, hun, but I didn't oh, want yeah, to do it have. live on air. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, so yeah, it's it's definitely um, it's all right. We do work on a sort of a three times yes, basis which will be at a minimum. Yeah, one, so it? our profit on on this, um, our worst case profit still meets that. Yeah. So um, obviously, it's always um, good to get the best case. But what we what we tend to find because you sell items at full price. You sell items, um, you know, a little bit less, and then you give greater discounts. So you tend to, we, we have an average sort of in the middle of that. Yeah. So the best case profit, 195.46, and the worst case, 106.52. We would probably predict it would be around about the 140 to 150 pound mark. I think, yeah. Yeah. That's about probably about right. Yeah, profit that we would get out of that. So um, you know, we we're looking at probably about four times, 
for just over which is four not, times, not bad, which is good. But just bear yeah. in mind when you're doing anything like this, um, it may look like that. You know, that's amazing, four times. But obviously, um, a handful might sell within the first month. Um, oh yeah. The yeah, next four it. or five might sell within the next six months, and then we might be looking at over a year for some items. Um, yeah, but just, you just, will just also get items that just won't sell no matter what you do Ever. they won't sell so that cost <laughs> has to be eaten up by something else yeah so um yeah we you know with those items they would either uh well they just probably be redonated we, yeah we, we sort do. of try everything we can yeah before um, we chip away at the price don't we we do yeah we relist yeah um and just yeah. keep going until we, it sort of meets it but sometimes things are things just are not popular yeah. and um you know no matter what you do they they won't sell so um, you do have to, uh, you know, it's 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 not a a mistake. It's a learning curve, sort of thing. Yeah, it's, it's, you've got to you... you've got to buy things yeah. and try it out and mm. and um, and sort of learn as you're going along. That's the the education of reselling, really, isn't it? As you mm. you get a hunch about something, you try it, and you either learn not to get that again, or you learn that that can make a bit of money, and then you look out for it in the future. Yeah. So if you do, if you're you are um, on the younger side and you you have bought something and it's not worth as much as you as you thought, well, you've learned about yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. It's, and it's... that is the key to reselling: is learn as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Watch as many other people that are doing reselling as possible because that's where we learn so much from. Yeah. So it's all I about mean... learning and trying to absorb. I mean, we can't remember any of it now. We're, we're older, <laughs> but the you know, if you're younger, then you've got all those years of experience to gain by learning from yeah, other people. So and watch as much know, as you can. We, you know, everybody makes mistakes as mm. well. And um, if you make mistakes, you you have to just deal with the mistake, um, let it go, move on to the next thing, and 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 so on. It's where you learn um, the you, most you is from your mistakes. That's exactly so you have to it, make them to be able to learn. Yeah. So yes, well, we've, we've gone a bit lectury there. Well, huh? We have, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just want to um, be honest about reselling. It is, it is tough. It is, yeah. You're it's, always it's not, learning. It's not an easy job at all. And, uh, well, you know, we, we pick up things almost on a weekly basis and think, oh, why did we buy that? We shouldn't have got that. But then we learn not to get that mm. again. And that's what it's all about, isn't it, Hum? The thing is, with this job, is you have a... Um, People who do it and do it for a long time, they they tend they have a passion for it. They mm. like finding those little gems and mm. and the and bargains learning, and learning, learning about and, things and, and sort of so so yeah. There there is that sort of thing that you have to have that sort of little passion for it. And if you're enjoying going finding things, picking them up and selling mm. them for profit, then then you know you you should do well at it. Yeah, it's like that chestnut um, thing, hon. I've never seen a chestnut roasting pan before, but now I know what one looks like and. Yeah. Um, can keep an eye out for it in the future. So, but like I said, you knew straight away it wasn't a the thingy pan. Yeah, I thought it, it was a bit small and it, um, you wouldn't have holes pan. in a bed pan. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> <It'd> go everywhere, <laughs> it wouldn't it? Would. But yeah, so it's all about learning and all about you know just not beating yourself up if you get something wrong. It it is what it is. Learn yes, from it. It's all part it. of it, isn't it? It huh? is part of it. Yeah. So. So I think we've preached enough there. <laughs> I think yeah. I think we need to stop. This video is going to be quite long, Roy. We're going to get sorry. some lunch on. I think we've just really yeah, off now. We're rambling again, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. So um, as always, um, you know, thanks ever so much for for watching. And if you do like this sort of style of video, then um, yeah, well, like and subscribe. Yeah. And um, yeah, you've only got to press the red subscribe button. Um, it is free. Ooh. And then the. It's the only um, thing that's free these days. No, no there's not a lot that's free. free. Um, yeah, and if you uh, want notification for our future videos, then just press the bell icon as well. Thanks for watching. Thank you. <laughs>